All right, me pocket master. We are going into the eighties toys. We talked about one of our episodes about the devils. We'll do some research about that before we talk about the devil and toys. <laughs> but it made me think about all the toys that go back to the eighties and all of those things. Those aren't even toys. Uh, toys and cartoons and so one of my toys that i had at least two of these toys in the background of me speak and spell did you have a speak and spell i think everybody had a speak i don't, and think, spell. I don't think so don't so think you so. type in and then it had a like a, a part where it did, it did spelling and it asked you to spell words and then you could type in words and it would say whatever you're typing in and speak and spell was like the educational thing. And again, I didn't. I didn't have a speak and spell. I had a grammar. Such a boring, telling, such a boring, telling me how story. to read the book. See Jack jump. See Jack. You look like the Epsom salt kid or whatever the the girl on there. Only was on the cover of a book. Oh, and I remember reading that. Yeah, That's that was my spell. see and spell. Speak and spell was the bad. That was my story. speak and spell. Speak and spell had the. Uh, um, what do you call it? The uh, uh, way of teaching kids. I don't know how you would say it, like teaching kids how to spell, obviously, but it took a lot of D batteries. So speak, speak and spell took a lot of D batteries and it had a people uh, out there. What, what's a battery? battery? What the hell is that? Yes, I, can. I don't know what that is. Here's a speak a spell commercial. Once a child wants to spell, the spell is cast. Speak and spell from Texas Instruments. That is correct. With snap in modules with hundreds more words for growing minds. You are right. See? Speak and spell. Part of a family of products for rich. <laughs> oh, I forgot it also. Dr. Had... Spit, so. It also this had is that Dr. Spit, so. It also had that uh the calculator with the owl face. The owl. Do you remember that? The calculator with the owl on it, so you could do the calculations. Seems, seems Same thing. Similar. It was all part of Texas Instruments, which was the, the the name of the company that made these things. So it was all educational, but it took a bunch of D batteries. And that was expensive. Your parents were like, that's a lot. So make sure you turn it off. These are the lame toy. I thought we were going to be talking about the cool toys like Hold Transformers, on. The G.I. Joe, He-Man. This, this toy, the little where you put the little disc the Viewmaster. in. Seen it? Yeah, the, that, Viewmaster. The Viewmaster. The, that is just a projector in your hands. That's all that was. And you use the sunlight. You can create that by putting your slide from your photos right inside of it. You can hold that up to the glass. sun. Yeah, but you didn't get <laughs> And then it had like a 3D effect. And now you could look <laughs> at it. It was pretty cool, man. And then the funniest one is whenever that the little the little photos were kind of bent up or messed up, it would go through and not perfectly go through. So half the picture would show halfway through. These are all the struggles of the <laughs> toys. All right. So I brought you on here to talk about <clears throat> a uh, article that I found. And it's called 30 Toys That Defined Us in the 80s from Stacker.com. All right. And I'm going to show you okay. the toys. And I'm going to see if you at all. Hold on. I got to get rid of this. Stuff. Can I guess the name of what? As you show the slide. I don't know. That's what I thought you were going to say. Oh, can I guess no. as as you show the slide? Can I guess it? I lost it. Oh no! Oh. You lost the link. <laughs> you lost the link. I lost, I lost the son of a bitch. It was. It just showed it. It was the toys that defined us, and I don't know where. Was so that the Netflix show, the toys that made us? Oh no. Son of a bitch. Do you see it? Have you seen that Netflix show? I've watched a couple episodes on a couple of things. Like, and I think it was the Masters of the Universe and maybe G.I. Joe. I might have watched a couple. Of them. So some of the 30 best toys. We'll look at this website and I'll okay. share it with you. The number one best toy, according to this website, Retro Dodo 
com. Let me share the screen with you. I don't know what happened. I had this whole thing set up of these toys. Shit. Hold on. Let me pause. Was it- All right. So I'm going to share the screen. What I have. I lost the original one. Son of a bitch. But anyways, these are the toys from joyenergizer.com. And these are some of the lamest toys. I think it says, do you remember these classic? I think it's classic toys. My Pet Monster. Do you remember? Can you see this? I can see it. Yeah. Okay. My Pet Monster. Did you have one? Didn't he? Didn't he? No, I never had this thing. Didn't he come in chains or something like that? No. Nah. He came in like a box and he was completely like, he was like wadded up in a box with chains on him and you were supposed to break. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I thought. Break. Yeah. That's what yeah. We- that, that's probably that's, the, that, that's, that's stupid stupid that's toy probably probably disturbing <laughs> now it is but back then you had a pet <laughs> monster it took away from it took away from my buddy remember my buddy where you just had a fake doll my buddy my you buddy couldn't, you couldn't hang out with anybody so my you're buddy, like, my buddy it's, it's okay johnny you don't have friends. wherever i go he goes my buddy because he doesn't have my a choice buddy. Because you are his, you're his, you're his little owner, and you have to drag him around. How do we counteract my buddy? Let's just make this scary monster that looks like Krampus from this <laughs> fucking <laughs> the one who steals kids. So we talked about him. Uh, He-Man there was it is, the, He-Man. the best toys ever. Even though the I swords, have the power. Even though the swords are the suckiest part of the He-Man part. And Coach hard- JC trying to destroy anybody's love for He Man by calling him the Angel of Death. Oh, you're changing the subject. John. Talk about He Man and his sword. See how the see how, two see episodes how, ago. See how Skeletor is holding the sword with a little look, it's even broken. See, every time he stuck his hand through there to hold the sword properly, it would crack that little piece on the edge of the sword, which is like the little hand protector. It would always break it. Can't see that closely, but yeah, couldn't there was it. a lot of things. If I never you had keep a snapping bag. armor off, or you break you break the armor very easily on those old T-Mans. Check out this egg, a uh, Cadbury milk dairy. An We're going to get in trouble with those not even weird toy. ads on the side. What is those those ads on the side? Are we going to get in trouble for showing us? Joy Energizer. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This was a member of this toy. Remember the Boglin? It was like a Muppet looking character that was in this little jail cell. What the, what the fuck is going on? They're like these fucking I never had. You don't these, remember like, this? These... It's outrageous creatures that come alive in your hands and you put your hands kind in of. Them. But like that, look at how fucking frightening that is for a fucking kid. What the fuck? Why is it frightening? You got a mon- well, you got a monster two fucking slides ago. And now you got this fucking thing with a this guy. Jailbird this guy came out that during looks fucking like. But this came out during Gremlins. During Gremlin Labyrinth thing. All right. Labyrinth demon or something. All right. Thunderhawk. Mask. Who I doesn't remember one, the mask? I had one or two masks, but that was it. I was a G.I. Joe guy. You had one or two masks? Yeah, I'm, I think I did. With the, I might still have them somewhere. Oh, you still have the kit? You still have the toys? Yeah, I think I have uh, one or two with, uh, on a card. I don't yeah. know if they're on the card. You, had, I think you I probably had. still have some of these in your room too, right? Yeah, absolutely. All, abs- absolutely. They're only not. authentic <laughs> if you have the Cabbage Patch <laughs> emblem on their butt. So just to let you know. All right, Teddy Ruxpin, another toy that was created for people who don't have friends. That's what my I niece would... had. It. My niece had it. No offense to my niece, but yeah, I I did not. That was yeah. these are, these are some shape. of these are. Some All of right. these are way. Some of these are way too young. You're going between toddler ones and then ones for like young 80s, boys, like myself. Toys. Right? All right, Thundercats. Yes. Explain who this yes, old I, dude is. Who's that guy? Okay, that's Jaga. Yeah. Who dies? He dies in the pilot, but uh, that's Lionel, Chitara, Tigra, Snarf, Wily Kit, Wily Cat, and Panthero. Okay. The only toy that you would. Give I had about life. half half of those. The only toy you would give someone that you hated is Snarf. <laughs> yes or no? Yes or no? If you were Snarf. like, 
If you were given someone, if you were, if you were given someone Star. a birthday present, and you were like, you were like, oh crap, what did I do? Snarf. What did I do? If you were given someone now a birthday stuck present, stuck on snarf. Now we're stuck on all the other characters stuck on the side on over snarf, here. Yeah. So if you were gonna get like, hey, you come to my birthday, <clears throat> come to my birthday, and you can see, <laughs> and you, you play with see, snarf, you would get snarf. And that would be a bad toy for you. You would just definitely would not. All right. Yeah. I had this. Fucking who, who Chitaro have, is the best. By the who, way, Chitaro is the best out of those. Who didn't have a parking garage as a kid for a toy? <laughs> a parking garage. That I remember that, but I don't think I ever had that. Is that parking like, garage. What the hell is that for? Not the whole wheels? entire street. Not the whole entire town. You just need a parking garage. And that was what you had. You put your little car in there. And you crank it up and it go up and it go down the little ramp and you had a little gas. I don't know why you had a gas thing. And you it's just a, a constant constant stream of cars going in and out. You just had toys and they were their Fisher yeah. Price. All right, Transformers, stupid yes. toy ever. Um, Stupidest toy. toy. Yeah, you can't play with Transformers. I will say this: I don't. I don't know how to fight. Like if it's got like more than ten points of transforming i don't know what the fuck's going on dude i'm not that smart anymore uh if i look at those new toys like dude, it tra- takes about 50 transformations to get it from one r- robot to car mode i don't know that's way too many it's difficulty just, it's, how do you how do you play with a how do you play with a building how do you play with a a, a car and you only have you know, in none of the cars you know well, the car Cars versus jets, and then when you put them in robot mode, how the fuck you're you're battling robots? Who? What's there not to love with a transformer? It's not it's not the toy you want. All right, ET. This is the worst. You looking, say tomato. This is I the say worst tomato. ET ever. It looks like a poop. Oh, this looks going like back. A, yeah, it does look like a big turd. I'm not alive. It it's not even a good looking ET doll. I don't know why this was exciting. Did you have a transformer watch? No, no, that looks familiar, but I don't. Th- I don't think I did. I had. I had actually had. I still do. I have quite a few original at, Gen One look Transformers. At the action! You could just turn it into a transformer. You just. <laughs> it just well, who is, again? Who is amazing? Who is, who, is, who is the watch battling? No, like the other guy's watch. My uh, watch can kick the shit out of your watch any day. It's just the idea that you could transform it into there. <laughs> All right, next one. Fuck! I have, why I have this some of these. The AT. I have some of these. You I can back up any. I can back up any. I have a big raft. I don't know if it was from an A team set or I just put it, but I have like the AT. I have. I think all four of the the A team guys. I just found them the other day. Like, you have them in a baggie the somewhere. Packaging? I you? would. I no, not the original. These were ones I had as a kid. Oh, dude, this is oh, this toy ever. Like, you remember this toy? Like, I do remember you put a tape him in him and you push play and he would just do nothing. He would just look cool, but he didn't. He do looks anything. like Her- Herbie from the Fantastic Four, doesn't he? He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. He was a terrible toy to play with, but he was cool to own and he was super expensive. All right. I'm sure he was expensive. Yes, yeah, Mad Balls. I still <laughs> do have a couple of them. See, why are those exciting? What makes you play with a big eyeball, huh? Because they're just gross and cool. Yeah, the big eye. I had the uh, the skull was my favorite. He's not even on that picture. That's because I don't re- I don't remember the names. Unavailable. My like the skull. Never had those. No. All right. Either did I. I was a hot. I was a hot wheels guy. How about a toy Fisher Price kettle where you just play with kids inside of a tea <laughs> kettle? <laughs> 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 what is the fun in that? You can't even probably get for your every in there. cool toy. We're going to show you a lame ass toy. All right, this here we kettle. go. Yes, all wrestling I, fans muscle. I still have a bunch of those too. I made my own ring. Now, in this I took, picture, I noticed what made me think about it is this guy right here looks like a building. What yes, is, building what is, is that? What he was a building? I don't know, but I I had went to school with a guy called Building. William oh. Ng. No. Oh. So that's anyway. him. That's him. Here's... Hey, wait. Hey, hey. I a took a block. I took I took a no, I'm saying on the muscle. I took a big block of wood, hammered nails for every post, put rubber bands, three of them around there, and made my own muscle ring. You didn't want to buy one. I think they came out with it too late, and I so already needed one. 
All right. No, I, still, I still puppies, have them. These things are worth money. <laughs> Just fine. Fuck glow worm, puppies. that bitch. This this dog. This, yeah, screw <laughs> the glow worm. No one cares. <laughs> this, I don't remember. The pound, the pound puppies are still worth money today. I bet you if you found out how much pound puppies are, they're pretty expensive. And all they are. I never had them. A stuff no one's ever had them. Just it's old, old. <laughs> no one's ever had them. Old My ladies, niece, probably. Old ladies own pound puppies. All right, this toy right. I remember that waterfall ring toss. Fish thing. You I remember them. these from seeing them. My niece having them because we're going between ones I would have as a as a young kid. And then you're going between them and toys that I would see my niece have. You it's never had a you me. never had a ring toss game or little balls that you would push the button. No, I've the seen it, but I didn't. I didn't have that thing. Not that I remember, dude. That is had, that is the cool dude. I had the cool ever. toy. I had all the cool. I had all the cool toys. This was the challenge. My parents, just my parents were the best. Just push as hard as you can, and all the rings would shoot up in the air, and you would try to land them on the little parts right here. And then that, I don't know what you were going for, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> it was, wasn't was much <laughs> skill. You just pushed as hard as you can, and all the rings would shoot up, and you would hope that someone would catch. That would be the whole game. All right, let's go through She-Ra. She-Ra, Princess of Power. That's a, is that the She-Ra doll that you have? I don't have... I have- the late, the, like they did relate re-releases about ten years ago, where they actually made them in He-Man style. <laughs> Little Professor, remember this? This is what I, I, was I do about. remember. This I never had it, but I do remember it. Okay, I don't remember the name. So, what, what toys? Sure. What toys in the eighties did you have? I had the superpowers. Um, that was my all-time favorite because I was just a huge DC. I still am I'm a huge DC Comics fan. Um, that's why I want to see them done right when they not just go in animation because they've had a, plenty of great animation, which kind of made me a fan of the toys because I wanted to have the toys of, you know, the animated super friends and stuff. But yeah, had the superpowers. Those were my favorite. G.I. Joe. Love G.I. Joe. Just the did you ever have, did you ever have electronic toys? I had Nintendo. Toys, like, no, well, no, like toys, like electronic toys like yeah like toys speak, that you had to like like push, speak and push. spell to actually help me no i just i had an imagination so i didn't need the robot telling me jeez how to you'd be a little more harsh <laughs> you bastard okay some of us needed to speak and spell you shit speak and spell to help me <laughs> i had to hey my my grandmother yeah, right, taught me how to read idiots. and write you dumb idiots couldn't do your own thing. You guys get it. Started that was- drawing. My drawings may have been rudimentary, but that's how I had imagination. I made my own comics, folded them pieces of paper in half, made my own comic books. And so you were a kick the can yeah. kind of kid then, huh? You just played with your own stuff in your house. You were just like, I'm gonna play with these toys. I'm gonna make yeah, I mean I'm gonna make my own transformer out of a mixing bowl and some some no, I mean, I, I was I was very blessed and lucky, whatever you want to call it, what it was from being a last of five children. I I, I, I know I was spoiled, but very this was awesome your, parents. This was, this was your dream right here. <laughs> In Which a world of Transformers, nothing is what it seems. <laughs> Meet the constructor card. It's evil robots that transform into one. Like- We're gonna be copyright struck. You know that, right? You can't play that. I don't know if it's even playing over it. To be honest with you. So, anyways, it was Transformers oh, I- commercial. I hope it was. Sing it, Transformers. Oh, this one is the life <laughs> more the than meets the eye. So one of the toys, one of the toys that I remember that I had the 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 best time with as a kid was RC tracks. The RC racetracks. Do you remember those race cars? I do, but I was always more of the, the characters. I had the cars and I still do probably buried in, in some boxes, but yeah, I just, I love the action figures. I was yeah, like, I like going outside and playing with the old RC stuff and playing with all the, uh, playing with all the toys you, that you could, did like, you smash them? Control. Did you- so here's what, here's what happened. Stuff. Here's what happened. So during my time growing up, I had a lot of GI Joe. I collected lots of GI Joe because Star Wars. Story. Was, Star Wars was 
you heard this story do you yeah you just sad it's gonna it's gonna end in horrible <laughs> so horrible all right <laughs> so i collected gi joe and <laughs> when gi joe was but i bought everything i bought sergeant slaughter i bought destro i bought all of the uh the the remember the big can the the caravan looking truck with the camouflage back you put all the i never on. was able i got all the figures i wanted but the vehicles i never they were then, always too much i had all of this stuff i had all the cool cars i remember my brother who was five years older than me just i don't know if he was jealous or if he just didn't like that i had this kind of shit but he, um, I'm hoping that you see my eyes, my eyes of sadness. Yeah. So I'm sad for you. I, I didn't know exactly what he was going to do to my toys. So one time I had appendicitis and I had surgery and I was in the hospital for three days. My, oh, no. my, my brother and his evil friend, Dave, went into my closet. Dave, Dave Batista. He took all my G.I. Joes out. Look in my eyes when I tell you this. He took all my G.I. Joes out and they burned them and they hacked them with machetes and they shot them with BB guns. <laughs> so when I got back from the hospital, I had to sit. How many, how many would you say you had? How many Joes at that point? Maybe like 20, 25. Mm, that's a lot of Joes. So, <laughs> so I had some left. They didn't destroy them all, but they destroyed some pretty cool. Oh, how nice of them. So I was outside playing in the dirt later, maybe weeks later. And I noticed pieces of G.I. Joe's arms and legs in the desert laying in the dirt next to the trees where they brutally chopped them up with machetes and burned them. <laughs> so I remember I was upset and I told my father and he was like, don't leave your toys out. So, <laughs> so that you had was... appendicitis and they were in the closet. What the fuck were you supposed to do? Hmm. So they destroyed my GI Joe's. Another time during my birthday, I got some new GI Joe's. He should have been forced to work off whatever the fuck he did and buy you all back. I don't think my parents knew exactly how much all these. I mean, what was it? What was a GI Joe back then? Probably like three dollars. Probably three dollars. So yeah, he could have afforded it. So here's the next one. So I have. I think. Uh, what's your brother's name? We'll call him. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even say. So I think M should buy you all the GI Joes that yeah, you destroyed no right thanks. now. And, yeah, like so, Destro. So I was really into karate, and I loved the Cobra Kai. I mean, the Cobra Kai. I love the Cobra part of all the mask and all the Cobras. I yeah. like those. So my parents yeah. bought me GI Joes, and I was really into Destro. They bought me. Yeah. G, they bought me GI Joe, which you bought me a Destro, and I still have it. Um. And they bought me a hang glider. Remember the foam hang glider, G.I. Joe. You hooked him up oh, and yeah. threw it, and he glided. Next morning, I woke up because we're having a camp out for my birthday. My friends are over. My brother and Dave are over. They're all hanging out. We're doing the thing. The morning, I wake up, and I go, uh, I want to go out and fly this. And I throw it in the air, and I'm playing with it. And my buddy Dave comes over with his pellet gun. And when I threw it, he shot it out of the air. <laughs> shot holes right through the wing. And that was, and then even then in the back of the day, like you could just put tape in it. It'll fix it. Never fixed it. Never did the same thing ever again. So, and, and the more I think about it, my brother just loved destroying things when we were younger, we used to burn. I remember one time when he wanted to make it look like Darth Vader when he like died and burned up and he wanted to make him look like that. So he burned him. So you have that as like a toy. It's not even so, a toy. So what? You could just have the tar 
Darth Vader's corpse. Uh, that's a good thing just to a play charred, with this. It's just a charred Darth Vader. So, so my brother liked doing that stuff. He liked destroying crap that we, and it was sad because we had like, I remember one time he used to tie GI Joes to like rockets and shoot them up in the air and let them blow up. And then you just, you couldn't even see what was going on. That's the stupidest part. You'd see the rocket go in the air. It explode. The toy would fall off of it. And then you would just stand there quietly and just listen for a on the ground. And then you would run over to see if it did anything. And, you know, and GI Joe back and then when they made the swivel arms, pretty much that's what broke off was the swivel arms. That's what came off of them. Correct. Yeah, the thumbs a lot would break. I remember that oh, when you're trying to you tr- trying to put the guns in them, and the thumb would just break. So yeah, yeah. I think it's hard to find good Joes actually in good conditions. Like people who no. didn't have psychotic psychotic brothers who would destroy them with <laughs> machetes, <laughs> and firecrackers, and the, crazy I, ass I, friends I just, who would just I just remember your fucking glider out of the so air. I was so excited. I was. I'd probably excited. just brawl with any friend that fucking destroyed my shit. <laughs> well, I got in the in the in the. It's not. I wasn't as big as I am, so I was a little tinier and chubbier. So just I go to his house now and punch him yeah, in the face. I just and punch him. This is from my glider, you bitch. You ruined my GI Joe glider. I hate you. <laughs> Ruin my childhood, you fuck. Now but it's G- my turn. Dude, GI Joe was the breeding grounds for us to become military. I'll tell you that, man. Made everybody was like GI Joe, and that was like, I'm gonna be a GI Joe guy. I'm gonna fly a plane. I had a plane. Hey, too. dude i I met Sergeant Slaughter in this past year. It was just, that was such a cool moment because you know he was really? a part of the big time in the Joe. Yeah, him and Kane at the same time. That was pretty cool. They, yeah, look, Sergeant. He wasn't, a, he wasn't a part of the original Joes. I mean, no, not the original original, but he, he came in there in a, a good part of it, you know, where it was really starting to take off. Like he was in a cartoon for pretty good. Like after the movie, I think they debuted him in the movie or and then brought him into the show. And yeah, he was in there for a few seasons for sure. Sergeant Slaughter dragged all us wrestling fans into G.I. Joe. <laughs> yeah, G.I. Joe. The wrestling toys were the LJNs back in the day. Those were some cool shit. The rubber dolls. Are those in there for wrestling? Oh, yeah, you got the hand. There the, it is. The, the hand WWF. Glider. There it is. That's what got shot yes. up by a pellet gun. Fucking right no, the way. cool fucking bitch shot the cool ass fucking camo hang glider. Should have <laughs> just punched him in the face. I would have got murdered. I was not <laughs> probably, but I would. I would have got beaten. I know how to fight. I'm not gonna fight somebody. <laughs> and kick my ass. Oh wait, <laughs> I got Good him. Now. You know how I got. You know sure, I got that sure, guy. Sure. I'm sure you could take him now. You know how I got that guy though. I'll how tell you, you know, I got I got Dave. Shot him in the ass. I used to hurt Dave, and Dave was kind of a nice guy. But one time I took a water balloon, watered up nice like a baseball. Yeah, smacked him straight in the face with it, and just just hit him right in the eye socket, and just oh, like he like screamed, and then I tried to run. My brother was his defender. I tried to oh, no. my brother grabbed the PVC pipe and just like whipped it at me and it went right oh, through my wow. legs like in like like a movie went through my legs and I just it ate it in the middle of the desert. So so the other time I got Dave is I remember one time uh Dave was we were fighting with uh foam PVC pipes. We put foam over them so we could brawl with them and use them as as weapons. And we thought the foam was going to protect us from any type of injury. And we would just hammer at each other. And I remember one time the foam came off and I hit Dave like right in the back of the neck and like, <laughs> like almost knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, I do have a funny story for you. Now this was, I was, I was still technically a child by this, not child, but uh, this was pretty funny. Uh, at least now it is, but I mean, it was funny then too. So we're playing wiffle ball, me and a good friend of mine. Uh, T, it's calm. So these kids, two to two houses down, were throwing rocks at us. They're lo- they're lofting them, and you know how the rock hits you in the eye and shit. So we warned them, like, stop fucking throwing these rocks. If we're gonna hit us in the eye, you're gonna be pretty pissed. You're not gonna like it. Whatever the fuck, we warned them. So of course, the one middle child, I think, of the three, did it. So they're chasing him. You know, and he's kind of a chubby kid, whatever, like that. So I'm chasing him around the block. So he must have thought at some point. That I just gave up. 
this is the funniest fucking I got the wiffle bat with me still. So he's just strutting. This is the funniest visual now, but you know, probably pretty cruel. So he's straight. He's like, I thought he got away, whatever. This is probably exact on the exact round spot. We've, we've almost done a whole block almost, and he's not quite in the other end. So, but we're on the other block. I run up as fat, like a ninja though, as fast as I could and in the air, just come down. And I fucking clobber this motherfucker over the head as hard as I could. And I was a few years older than him at least. Uh, and I fucking clocked this motherfucker as hard because I'm mad now. Because are you confessing to I, a crime? <laughs> this is more than fifty years old, whatever the fuck this was. And plus, I was a minor at the time too. So, so I clobbered this motherfucker <laughs> as joking. hard as I could. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean he's not dead. Uh, not to my knowledge. Not from that, at least. So he's like, ah! <laughs> screaming like. Some neighbor on the other side's like, what the fuck? She must have thought I hit him with a balloon and bad. And it wasn't a balloon was bad. Uh, and he's fucking wailing and stuff. We go over there. Like, Apparently the police were called. This was just insane. Insane. <laughs> That's I'm a 80. minor. I'm a, I'm a minor, though. I'm, I'm like, I, we, the cop comes over. He's talking to us. I'm like, we told this motherfucker. He's throwing rocks at us. He's going to hit us in the eye. He doesn't know where these rocks are going. I told them we were going to do that. And, yeah, we did. and I think the, the cop chuckled at it. Whatever, and that was the end of it. But it was so funny. He had to do the bat and said, "Finish the job," and you're like, <laughs> "Finish, <laughs> finish the job, finish him, <laughs> go get him now." While the cops are watching. <laughs> yeah, that was still the one of the funniest. Dude, this is back. This to, is back in the day too, when people used way back to, in the uh, day. Uh, our own street justice. When adults, when adults would like push kids and smack them. <laughs> It just, that wasn't an adult. Your, I wasn't and an your adult. Par- though, and your that. parents would say, like, oh, what'd you do wrong? And you're like, what? You shouldn't even be touching me. But you, you shouldn't have thrown rocks. He wouldn't have hit you with that bat. Yeah, you should grow up. So was a wi- was a wiffle bat. Maybe it looked like an aluminum bat to that neighbor who called the police. But he had it coming. He was throwing rocks at us. And he was always Here. a little shit anyways. Here's another story for you. If you guys haven't noticed my tooth being... This oh, tooth, shit, yeah. this tooth, Uh-oh. dark, not because I have bad, bad dental hygienity. It's because my brother threw a rock through it. And then stole, Ooh, uh, you threw, stole, threw a rock through your teeth, through my teeth. It smashed my face. He threw how, a rock. How big was it? How big was this rock? Jeez. Oh, and it went, and you were a lot smaller then too. So God, yeah, it, was, it, was, it just broke my front teeth and pushed them in and made them all crooked. And then, did your fu- did your fucking mom and dad ever discipline dude, your brother? Did you ever want to like, go into the store? Stop oh, beating yeah. up your other. Oh your yeah, we got dis- we so. got discipline, but there was a yeah, little like the fuck. Uh, it it was discipline because of stuff stuff we did that made them mad. But anything we did to we ourselves <laughs> was pretty much take yeah, care of fair game. Take care of yourself, you know. It's your, it's your brother. Fucking, <laughs> if he smashes a rock through your teeth, fuck, it's just part of being a brother. Come back with justice on your own time, you know. Why sleeping? Just go in and smash <laughs> his face. But we throw- love you equally. We can't beat the other one for beating you. You're just gonna have to get revenge on him yourself. You know what? It was typically this: if you got smashed for whatever reason, you had it coming. That's what she would say. You guys, what did you do to egg on the the problem? So I think that that was the lifestyle that we had. So we pretty much just took care of ourselves. So if we had a problem, we just we just handled it. <laughs> so my niece would my niece. Did, this is probably around the 80s. So I guess this might be a proposal. So she would always she's a younger kid. She's just oh, slam me into and I'm a wrestling fan. So I think I may have done something to her a little too hard. You know, because I'm still a kid myself. So then my bro- ex-brother-in-law now, but my brother-in-law at the time. So he, oh, I'm playing too rough with her. He actually really clotheslines me. So he's this big dude. Like, he's whatever, much older than me. And I'm just, I'm still just, you know, a lot smaller than him. You know, my niece, if she, even if she was four, I would have been 12. Fucking clotheslines a 12-year-old. Fucking down to the ground. I don't remember how. You were 12? I probably didn't feel too well. Yeah, probably if I'm guessing if my niece was four. I would have been 12, you know, or maybe if she was five, would have been 13. He was, but yeah. the, he was the dad. I remember him. Well, yeah. And he, I remember him clotheslining me in the carpet. It might have been at my grandparents' house. 
I'm like, I didn't, the fuck. She was probably over exaggerating with the crime, but she she's the one that just started ter- antagonizing me. Like, ah, eh, slam me, do whatever like that. And I don't she remember over, doing it that harsh. She she made it happen. She 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 faked it and got me beat up. By my uh, you should know she's a lot smaller than you. How do you like it, close uh. yeah, like, <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that maybe she was being over dramatic as a little or, girl? Did it ever occur to you that I'm a child? And yes, and I'm also different. a child at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Don't deserve to be clotheslined after your daughter was jumping on my back telling me to wrestle with her. <laughs> All right. We got to wrap this up. We're going to lose time. Yeah. Meatball, guys, you listen. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for going on with the <laughs> Next episode, we're just going <laughs> to scroll through Instagram and watch all the funny videos that come up because I think that's going to be a funny episode too. (laughs) All right. That would be pretty funny. Make sure you tune in, check it out, subscribe, share, write to us, whatever. Don't watch. We don't care. 